Hey everybody, it's Eric Jensen with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate, part of the Utah Home Guide team. I'm joined by Sarah mm -hmm. Brunken and Ali Bocut. Ali Bocut. We are so happy to uh, present to you guys this week on Salt Lake County real estate stats. I'm going to turn that over to Sarah to tell us what's going on with real estate. Okay, in Salt Lake County, active listings are 598, under contract are 2,290, and 90 days in the last 90 days that have sold are 3,425. And then in the last seven days, 371 are under contract. And in the last seven days, 273 have sold. That's, that's incredible. I mean, our, our actives are so low, but our contracts are higher. So go, property is going under contract. So it's like going to the grocery store and they're, they're keeping inventory going, but it's gone. So people are waiting in line to get it. So it's, it's really interesting how, thing, how fast things are moving. So if you take the last 90 days of, of approximately 3,400 sales, properties sold in Salt Lake County alone, that's about 38 properties on average selling per day. What's interesting, it seems to be on track and on pace for, if we look at the last seven days with a 273 selling, that's um, 39, properties a day on average in the last seven days in Salt Lake County. So we'll see, we hope that number picks up. We, you know, maybe we'll see 50 to 60 closings every day in Salt Lake County based on um, the market heating up literally outside and people go, oh, do we need more buyers out there? <laughs> yeah, we always need buyers. We need buyers, we love yeah. buyers. <laughs> We also really, really, really need sellers. So if you have had any thoughts of selling, we would love to talk to you and give you a value. You'll probably love the value on your home right now. You might be surprised even compared to what it was worth, say in October. Yeah. November. Crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. We're <laughs> seeing just, yeah. And Eric is looking to buy. And I am <laughs> looking to buy a bigger home in Salt Lake County, close to 215. So if you have a home like that, please, please, please let me know. I'd love to talk to you about it, or you know someone that might. Allie and I want to talk briefly. We each own a, a rental, a nightly rental in Park City. She owns in the canyons. I own at the Prospector Square right in Park City. How's your property been this year? It's been great. This is the first year that we've had it, and about six months in, and we're showing a profit. So Good. it's great. And you clean it yourself? I clean it myself. I live okay. in half of it and then rent out the other half. So there's like two doors? Right, two doors for the time being. Uh, I'm building a home in uh, Sandy. So, right. Yeah. Well, that's exciting. So as far as like how many people you've had through, what are you averaging a month? How many guests checking in? Do you know that? Oh my gosh. Well, every month has been booked full since we opened mm -hmm. um and then it's just slowed down here in april and i have right. 18 bookings in april in april yeah and yeah and it's park city mountain closes i think next week right and my, my experience because i've owned mine for the last three years the summer market is is hot right people are mountain biking hiking just getting away from the valley the heat it's way better in park city i i'm a huge fan of park city obviously yeah, we have a lot of um, people just staying for a couple, three nights mm -hmm. uh, and coming from the valley. Right. Yeah. A lot of staycations. A lot of on. staycations, especially during COVID, mm -hmm. you know, and then we'd give them a, the room a break for a night and get it all sanitized and mm -hmm. have them check back in. So it's, it's worked out. It's, it's worked out really, really well. Yeah. I was so happy to yeah. hear when you bought it. And, yeah. and I got a great deal. You got a great deal <laughs> last year. Yeah, I mean, we could turn around and sell it and make a profit right now, mm -hmm. which would be a really handsome profit. It's yeah. A, it's, a, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, what's on yeah. the market up there. Yeah. And what we're finding, though, is even though prices are higher, call us because we know the projects up there. Right. Mine, again, is Prospector Square. I bought it March of 2018. My profits are way up. They go up every year, uh, maybe, I don't know, 10% on average for me in the last three years. Um, this year, we missed Sundance, so my numbers right. will be less, but 20 22 we're hoping Sundance comes back, back. Yep. and that's a huge part of the problem point is if you've had any thoughts of buying a nightly rental I personally recommend them over a single family or multi-unit property right now right 
I, I think it's a profitable. great investment. Yeah, pro yeah. profit investment. For sure. And you, I use my property yeah. sometimes. Well, I'm, I'm obviously using currently. Yeah. Currently, yeah. Yeah. it works. Yeah, it just worked out ideal for us. Yeah, so good. Yeah, great. Anything else, ladies? You want to tell them? That's good to know. Have a happy Easter. Yes. Happy spring. Happy spring. Happy Easter. Happy Enjoy everything. This beautiful Utah weather. Thank you. We'll see you next week.